Hello fish eggs, this is Eric. Today we're going to do a species spotlight on the electric eel. Anyone that's familiar with our store know that we have a beautiful pair of electric eels here, uh, ACDC, cute little name for them. Uh, a little bit of background on those two eels. I had ordered them out of South America from Peru. They were supposed to come in at 24, 20 to 24 inch. And I guess the guys bagging them have dyslexia or something because they end up coming in at 42 inches. Uh, we're now actually in the process, we're looking at building a new sales counter and we're actually thinking about using them in our store display, which will really be a really, really neat thing, I think, for those two guys. Um, the electric eel itself is about one of 500 species of fish out there that can actually give out electric current. Um, contrary to the name, the electric eel is not really an actual eel, it's more related to the knife fish family. Um, they, there's three known species, two have been recently discovered as back as recently as September. They usually carry about 600 volts, but then one of the new species they say now can carry up to 800 volt, 850 volts, which is absolutely insane. That's enough power to knock over a horse and it can actually even start it, stop a human heart. Um, there's not too many deaths caused by electric eels from the electrocution part of it, even though it is possible to start your heart. Usually what the worry is if they knock you out and you can end up drowning. Um, but 80% of their body is made up of an electrical organ which kicks out and it has over, over 6,000 cells that actually hold its electricity. Which means they can give you a jolt that's going to hurt and hurt badly. These eels are found in usually shallow muddy water, very tropical warm waters. Uh, usually they're very solitary Although when they're in a drier season, sometimes you will get pools that have a swarm, like a bunch of them together, what they actually call a swarm. I feel bad for any animal that puts their paw or foot into that pool, but that's another thing. Um, the males can live about 15 years, females up to 20, 22 years. They feed on crustaceans, fish, birds, small animals. Um, they can get over 8 feet long and over 40 pounds, 40, 45 pounds, which is just an insane animal. They said ours are over four feet now, and that's not even that's only about half, which just blows my mind. A very cool thing about these guys is that the parents, when they lay eggs, uh, they both protect the eggs. Uh, they can have up to seventeen thousand eggs in a clutch, and what happens as the baby eels hatch, those baby eels will actually go out and look for other eels' nests to feed on the eggs. So it's definitely their will to survive. The strongest are going to get through on that one. Um, a little interesting fun fact about these guys, uh, he's uh, Ascendrio Volta, I think is his name, excuse me if I pronounce that wrong. Back in 1799, based on the electric eel, he created the very first electric battery. And that all came from electric eel, which is a really, really neat fact. Uh, they're not a beginner fish by no means. I don't recommend anybody housing these things. These are very dangerous animals. We're just foolish enough to take them on and keep them like any other animal. That's about it that I can think of off the top of my head for electric eels. So that'll be a cover that one for the day. So this is Eric. You have a great day. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.